All right, this run shows off the power of the new Nurse Shark. The new Nurse Shark is just absolutely busted in customs. It now only spends 10 trumpets, but deals triple damage, so it deals 30 damage per trigger. And at level 1, it deals it to 1. At level 2, it's 2. And level 3, it deals it to 3 random enemies. And when you add in multiple shots for, like, when you add in Pteranodon or Tiger or just, like, a 1-up, those all add triggers. And you can spend 50 of those trumpets. You can get 5 triggers off of this thing and deal 30 damage to 3 things uh, every time. So 90 damage, 5 times, 450 damage. It gets a little bit excessive. It's kind of broken. Um, I guess you do have to get to level 3, which could be kind of tricky, but it's just an insane build. Uh, as for the actual starts, I did cut off the beginning because it was laggy, and also, like, the beginning's not that interesting, um, and I just rolled for level 3 Moth and did not get it. Sometimes that happens, but it didn't actually matter too much because, for some reason, a lot of the teams in Custom Arena are still kind of weak. Like, I don't know if people are just, like, experimenting with a lot of stuff, but you run into some teams, like, occasionally you run into some crazy teams, and you're, it's, like, very obvious that uh, they have a really good team. But a lot of the times, they're just, like, not that much stronger than, like, regular packs or anything, which is kind of surprising. But uh, I guess I won't complain, because that certainly makes it easier. Messed up the pug. It should have put the pug behind the other moth for the extra stats. Um, sometimes I guess I just play a little bit too fast, and I don't actually bother, like, changing and positioning. Not a good habit, especially if you do, like, 1v1s. That is one thing that is very important, is, like, changing positioning. Um, but yeah, um, so I was wondering, like, I watched a random video a while ago about, like, AI learning how to play Monopoly, and, like, I don't know, AI has been a big topic recently, I wondered, like, if AI could actually play Super Auto Pets, I don't really know, like, anything about AI, so it could just be, like, complete nonsense, but it would be really cool to see, I would be, love to see an AI play this game, see how it actually, like, determines things, I assume you would need, like, AI to play itself, and then, like, it just does a whole bunch of uh, situations and eventually learns kind of what's good in the game. It would be really interesting because, I mean, obviously it would probably play very different than a human. Um, the banana pill strat works on anything. I mean, I guess ideally it would be, a, like, something that could actually uh, faint something and then give me a gold back. But a uh, random little tidbit that I actually didn't find out until recently. If you do put, like, a spider that has a banana on it... It spawns the thing before the monkey, so you don't actually get the monkey. Had to learn that the hard way, and I actually, I'm surprised I didn't know it until that, uh, until now. But yeah, something I just learned. And then Pug Lynx is generally a really good tempo option. Highly recommend it. Lynx is very good for a tier 4, and Pug is a, probably one of the best tier 2s in the game. It's actually just at, kind of broken, and it's one thing that makes pack 3 somewhat viable. Just the Pug. It's probably just like... I don't know. It's a 5-2, and it's got a really good ability that, like, gives you a crazy power spike. Because when you get, like, an early tier up, you can make it instantly level 2. That's just, like, a parrots or something. I mean, it's just so helpful. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, like, again, the team's surprisingly weak sometimes. So much uh, matchup RNG, but luckily I get the two level ups here, and actually I get three level ups. Get one from the moth. Or two from the Moz, and then one from the Lynx. I just have to decide what to do. I guess, I don't know if I really should have done that. I wanted to see another tier 6, just in case it was... I mean, double alpaca is perfect. That's pretty much like level 2 alpaca, and everyone knows how broken that is, right? Or at least, I mean, not everyone. I shouldn't assume. Maybe someone's, like, watching this and has never actually played the game. Or this is their first time watching anyone play the game, which would be very interesting. I mean, it's still kind of getting new players, I think. Or at least, like, a lot of people returning to the game because Ludwig's playing it again, which love to see. Do enjoy watching Ludwig play, even though, like, there's plenty of mistakes, I'm sure. It doesn't matter. It's all about the personality, right? You can suck at things as long as you're entertaining. That's the rule. Um, I mean, it'd be great if you could be both. That would be the perfect situation. But yeah, level 2 alpaca, it would be great here, so probably just gonna roll until I find one chocolate. Which will hopefully be soon. I mean, your odds of finding chocolate are best on turns 9 and 10. And um, this is kind of just the throw around. Because I don't have any trumpets. I mean, you can go Nyla. Uh, but that doesn't actually get you to 50 exactly. You can get to like 48. I guess you can get to 50 with like 1-up and Pteranodon. 
but uh, I just find that Hyaline Cow is generally much nicer. Also lets you have the uh, Nurse Shark in front, which I think is much more fun. Because otherwise, sometimes you could like run into a Cobra or like a Snake Team that will kind of mess you up before you actually get to use the Nurse Shark. So yeah, uh, Chocolate Cake is good early on, but 1-Up is just broken with this. It's so good. It, like, I mean, if you have enough trumpets, obviously you get to double its ability twice, because it has a tiger behind it too. So, uh, I already need 40 trumpets, which is a little ex excessive. Um, but for now, I'll just take the level 2 Nyla with Chocolate Cake, which is really level 3. I probably should have just taken one up, but, um, I just wanted to actually get the build going. And, yeah. <laughs> God, it's so broken. Like, who thought this was a good idea? I thought they wanted to nerf the Nurse Shark and not buff it. It might be like a slight nerf, but I, I don't think so. It's just like a straight up buff, isn't it? It's it's crazy. Um, but like I again, like having broken builds in custom packs, I think is perfectly fine and just generally a lot of fun. Um, I think like that's what the point of the game is, right? Is just to have broken builds and have fun with them. And then like the static packs can be used for like competitive stuff, but. I don't think there's too much a necessity to like really balance the custom pack stuff. It's more of just like, I don't know, yeah, just for fun. And look at that. Oh, so beautiful. It kills everything. Although there's a level 3 eagle, and of course it spawns an orca, and that's just a loss. Honestly, most things that spawns there probably kill me, because level 3 eagle is broken and spawns triple base stats. And um, especially in custom packs when you can stack the deck. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't think there's actually really too much of a purpose in buying this milk. I guess I was like, oh, I need the Highland Cow, but I don't have Highland Cow. I could maybe freeze the milk and just roll until I find the Highland Cow. But then, um, I don't know. I guess I'm just really relying on that. And also I can't find chocolates, which is kind of unfortunate. Maybe melon for protection, but I just milk the tiger because I just... Don't want the tiger to die to snipers, as always. But 24 trumpets is really doing a whole lot. And then it spends the last four to deal 12 damage. It's still so good even without Highland Cow. And there's the Pteranodon. Love to see that. Why not buy its own oyster? Get to see a tier 6. And another oyster. Well, um, yeah, I don't want to waste the trigger. There's Highland Cow, which I will get next turn because I have to get the level 2. And why not, I guess, freeze the oyster, also for the extra gold. Another Highland Cow. Problem is, I can't stack them to get instant level 3, because I need the space for the alpaca, of course. 1-Up uh, doesn't really do anything. Dude, so many oysters. <laughs> I, if, like, alpaca only didn't have uh, only two triggers, then it would be massively broken. So it's probably a wise decision. Um, and yeah, I guess I do need a way to scale the Highland Cow. Best thing that's in this custom pack would probably just be Chicken Leg, because I don't think Pretzel was in it, but Pretzel would work on this team. Yeah, 48 Trumpets now. Love to see that. And of course, the weakness, it replaces the 1-Up, but I'm not sure it matters. It, I win anyway. And I was actually fighting Disease. Great YouTube videos. A lot of super creative builds would highly recommend Disease, although he's an infected player on YouTube. And another Highland Cow. I mean, I don't know how many Highland Cows I need. I guess at this point, I could just sell the Alpaca and then uh, go with another Highland Cow and have level 2 and a level 1. That probably would have been cooler, honestly. But you know what? This works too. Level 3 Highland Cow. Normally, I feel like not a huge purpose. Oh yeah, and of course, Pteranodon works in the shop as well, if you don't know, which is insane and makes it even more broken. But yeah, three Trumpets, like... If you get 50 health on the Highland Cow, then you only need level 2, and there's no point going for level 3. But I guess when I don't actually have a ton of scaling, this will definitely work. And look at these triggers. There's 2, then there's the Pteranodon. Oh my god. Like, it's just, I don't even know how many triggers I get from this. There's too many. Too many to count. I can only, like, count to, you know, as many fingers as I have, I think. Uh, alright, yeah, so chicken leg scaling, I mean, <laughs> luckily I got a lot of chicken legs, otherwise this would have been really difficult, but how many trumpets is this? 29, 43, so at least getting, uh, all five triggers, even if the last one's not gonna be too helpful, but look at that. And then you can see, I don't know if it's a bug, but it deals the zero damage rock throwing, which is interesting at the end, and then I lose, I, I can't believe I actually lost with this team, that's insane. But yeah, it seems like I'm getting a few extra triggers, which um, obviously doesn't do anything, but why not have more triggers? 
it's just fun. And there's 50 trumpets, I'm pretty sure. So now we will hopefully just kill everything. But we do lose to spawners. So I guess I should get like a lemon or in the back or something. But look at that. It's just so beautiful. Oh my god. It just keeps going. It's like it doesn't even stop. You think it's going to stop and then it just keeps going. And then there is 10 wins. Just an all-around broken team. It's only a four squad as well. Like you could put a flea in front or something. Apply weakness to everything. But so good. Thanks for watching. See ya.